Hey everyone, it's Krithika. Welcome back to my channel. I am at Delhi airport right now and I'm super excited because this is actually my first trip of 2024 and I am headed to Nice. And I'm doubly excited because I'm actually flying business class today. So I'm flying Air India's business class flight from Delhi to Paris and then I'm going to be taking a train from Paris to Nice. So very very excited to be back in Europe and to be flying business class. We still have some time for our flight to start boarding so I figured I'd go get some food at the Air India lounge. So I'm now at the Air India lounge. This is only accessible to business class and first class passengers. Just grabbing a quick bite before our flight and there's so many options here. Also, I'm not traveling alone this time. I'm traveling with my friend Preeti. Hi! <laughs> so we've actually traveled together before in Europe. Uh, so it's really nice that we are getting to go back again together. But anyway, there's actually a lot of uh, food options over here. Uh, so I've gotten myself some paneer burji, some potatoes, eggs and a coffee. Much, much needed. So just boarded our flight and we have the most spacious and comfortable seats. Let me show you around. This is literally how much leg room we have. My feet don't even reach that. I'm too tiny for this. But we've got some blankets and bedding to use later on. Got some magazines here. This is the control panel so we can actually completely recline our seats. They also have a charging port, some water, a remote to control the entertainment system and as soon as we sat down we were served some welcome drinks then we have the food and drinks menu so we've got a really good choice of options in terms of what we can eat so our flight's finally taken off and this is going to be our home for the next nine or so hours i think that's how long the flight is and they came and took our food and drinks order uh, and the food menu actually looked really good so I'm excited for lunch today and also they gave us noise cancelling headphones so hopefully later on this flight I'll catch a movie I also want to catch up on sleep and get some work done 9 hours sounds like a long time but I feel like when you're in business class time just goes by really fast but yeah the seats here are just so spacious and I'm loving all the space that I have over here we also get slippers for the flight which is very nice and you can store your shoes there so just got my hands on the amenity kit it's from Tumi let's open it and see what's inside it I'm always very excited by amenity kits on aircrafts and I usually like take back home uh, things from them this case itself is actually really nice very useful for like my future travels so this is what it's like from inside we've got an eye mask I actually lost my eye mask so I'm gonna steal this and take it back home got some socks there's a pen, really nice looking pen. We've got some skincare products. We've got a lip moisturizer. It's pretty nice. Then we've got a face mist. Again, I feel like this is a really nice thing to have in your bag. Uh, this is actually so refreshing and it smells really good. And they've also got this tiny cute little hand and body lotion. And lastly, we have a dental kit. So yeah, this is such a nice amenity kit. Honestly, I'm definitely taking it back home. They also gave us like these night suits, which I'm also going to take back home. I feel like these are always so comfortable. So after lunch, I'm going to change into them, take a nap. And uh, yeah, overall, this flight is such a vibe. Oh my god, so we're flying over the Hindu Kush mountains right now and the view outside is just so insane. Look at this. So our appetizers are here and I ordered a zucchini cream cheese roll with a cranberry salsa. It's honestly looking so good, like the presentation is amazing. And there's some bread on the side, I think garlic bread. And uh, Air India, honestly, every time I've flown Air India, the food has actually been amazing. The food, I think, is prepared by chefs from the Taj Hotel. So it really shows in terms of the presentation. And I'm going to dig right in. This looks very delicious. So let's see how it tastes. Oh my god, the cranberry salsa is so good. And the cream cheese roll as well. Like, it's really refreshing. Super delicious. 
the main course is served and oh my god there's so much food they have like two vegetarian options and two non-vegetarian options and i've ordered uh, the indian vegetarian option which is basically palak paneer pulav this dal beetroot raita and they also have piping hot uh, kulkas so yeah the spread is looking amazing I feel like we've just been eating ever since we got on this flight. It kind of dimmed down the lights because everyone else is asleep because I'm vlogging. I feel like vlogging, no one realizes, but everything just takes twice as long. So everyone else is done with their meals. Meanwhile, I'm on my dessert. woke up from the most epic nap. The seat was so comfortable. Honestly, there's only two more hours to go for this flight uh, and I'm so sad because I just want this to like go on forever. I want to sleep for longer and uh, it's been 10 minutes since we woke up and we already have more food being served to us which is looking insane. So all we've done on this flight is actually just eat and sleep and eat some more. Ending my meal with some coffee and they also have snacks from Le 15 Patisserie, the cookies in these two flavours. So we're about to land. Honestly, I'm so sad that the flight's over already. Nine hours just flew by. Uh, but yeah, the sun is setting outside, the view is really nice and I'm just feeling very very refreshed after my nap and all the good food. May I have your attention please? Air India is pleased to announce on-time arrival in Paris. Welcome to Charles de Gaulle International Airport where the local time is 5.55pm and the outside temperature is 7 degrees Celsius. Finally made it to Paris after what felt like the quickest flight of my life but honestly it was such a smooth and comfortable experience right from the check-in uh, to the boarding process and of course the flight itself was really nice also we landed here and cleared immigration i think at lightning speed we literally got done in like five minutes and because we were in business class our luggage also arrived early so we're just like done with the whole post flight process in like 20 25 minutes i think which is great but speaking about my air india business class experience this was actually to be honest like my fifth business class flight on Air India so I have experienced it before uh, but I've never vlogged it so I thought it might be nice to show you what the experience is like so I think the highlight for me honestly or two things one is the food it was just so delicious and compared to like my previous Air India business class experiences which were also great I feel like today the food was exceptionally good like I really enjoyed all the meals and the second really great thing was the staff they were super super nice and very accommodating <laughs> that's something I feel like every time I fly Air India their hospitality always stands out but anyway like I mentioned Paris is not my final destination I'm traveling to Nice tomorrow which I'm super excited about uh, but yeah quickly gonna book a cab now and head to my hotel is it already Monday cuz I'm tired of the Monday could you just come and take my hand Good morning everyone from Paris, had such a great uh, night's rest in the city and like you can tell I'm at the train station now about to take a train to Nice. So Air India has multiple alliances through interline code share and intermodal connections. So I'm using that intermodal connection and taking this TGV train from Paris to Nice. So the train is about to leave in 10 minutes. Let's go inside and find our seats. Take me to a foreign land. I think we're on the same page. And I hear what you're trying to say. So on the train from Paris to Nice, this is a direct train and uh, it's basically I think almost six hours long so we've got quite a while on this train. The views along the way are amazing and because we have so much time, I thought I'll just get some work done as well. We change the polar plans, don't know where to go but we'll just pack our bags. Anywhere as long as I'm with you, let's run away.
So made it to Nice, just checked into our hotel. This is the AC Hotel by Marriott and it's in a really nice location because we're right by the promenade. The train journey was so scenic, it was by the coast, so it was just stunning. So many amazing views. So I'm really excited to be here in Nice. Honestly, Preeti and I both, we were talking about it. We've been wanting to visit the south of France. Yeah, we've actually spoke about it so many times. Yeah, we were. It feels like a manifestation. I know, like last year we were actually planning to do it. It didn't happen. Uh, so really excited to be here. So quickly gonna change, freshen up and uh, it's already, I think the sun is gonna set soon. So I don't think we're gonna be able to do much today, but I really want to walk outside, maybe catch the sunset. So yeah, let's get going. Just came up to the rooftop of my hotel and the view from here is so amazing. The sun is about to set, so uh, we're just gonna head over to the promenade there and take a walk. But oh my god, this is so beautiful. So in the back there is our hotel. Just made it to the promenade and look at that view. How beautiful is this? I think this is one of the prettiest sunsets I've seen this year and I'm just so happy to be near a beach. first meal in Nice, we've come for dinner to this place called La Cucina, which we actually accidentally stumbled upon. But turns out this place has got a really good rating online and the food is looking so delicious. So I ordered myself a pasta with truffle cream, which is honestly smelling delicious. So let's dig right in. So good. We definitely need to come back here again to eat while we're here. This is really good. everyone it's officially our first day in nice and today we're actually doing a day trip so nice is on the french riviera and besides nice there's actually a lot to see around the city itself so today we're doing a day trip of uh, this village called Ez and uh, of monaco which is a whole other country nearby so we just stopped at the first viewpoint along the way and look at that view you can see the whole city of nice behind me and it is such a spectacular view Next stop on our tour is this cute little village called Ez. So this is a medieval village, I think from the Middle Ages, and it's built on a hilltop. So you actually have a really nice view of the water and the city from here. And we have an hour over here to just walk around uh, and explore this place. There's a chateau here with a nice viewpoint, which is where I'm walking up to. But oh my god, look how cute this place is. Literally feels like a fairy tale. such a cute place, totally worth visiting. So interestingly enough, our guide was actually telling us about the history of Nice and Nice used to be part of Italy even until like mid 1800s I think, which uh, I didn't really know, I thought that was interesting. So if you look at the buildings here, they do sort of have like an Italian influence to them. And the Italian border is just half an hour away from Nice. So this region of France actually has lots of perfumeries. We are now at our next stop, which was literally like a five minute drive from Els. So in the back there you can see the chateau where we were. And this is our next stop. We're at Fragonard's Perfumery and uh, we basically have a tour booked here. I'm not exactly sure what to expect, but I think they're going to show us how perfume is made, which is very fascinating. So let's go inside and check it out. So I'm 
I'm at the Fragonard Perfumery right now and we just had a really nice workshop explaining how perfume is made. We tried out like a few different fragrances and now we get to make our own fragrance which is really cool. I've never done anything like this before so this is very exciting and then we can take some back home as well. Mine more floral and citrusy, those are the notes I like. This was such a cool experience, really enjoyed making my own perfume. I didn't expect to do that over here, so that was really nice. Also, I ran into a subscriber of mine, which was really cool, at Fragonard in Ez of all places. But anyway, let's head to our next stop. The next stop on our tour is a brand new country. I am now in Monaco, which is supposedly the second smallest country in the world. It was quite a short drive away from Nice, and we're basically spending the next few hours exploring different spots in Monaco. In case you haven't heard of Monaco, this is basically like the playground of the rich and famous. Apparently one in every three person living here is a millionaire. For now, we're just walking up to the palace. I think in 20 minutes, there is a changing of the guard ceremony happening. So let's go check that out. So first impressions of Monaco, not surprisingly, it looks very rich and fancy. I mean, look at all these buildings. Extremely fancy. I think we're now in the old town part of Monaco because these buildings look quite cute and ancient and very old town like. This here is the Palace of Monaco and looks like the ceremony is about to start, so let's go check it out. That was quite a cute changing of guard ceremony, it took like 10 minutes, but basically on both sides of the palace, the views are spectacular, so just walking to check those out now. Ruled by the House of Grimaldi for over 700 years, Monaco holds a rich tapestry of history and culture. It supposedly has more police per capita than anywhere else in the world, so it's possibly one of the safest places. And it's home to one of the most famous events in motorsports, the Monaco Grand Prix. Oh, this is like a famous point for Formula One. Black side, Fairmont After a short drive from here, we made it to Monte Carlo, a place that is the epitome of luxury and opulence. The last spot for today is Monte Carlo, which is looking very, very expensive and fancy. So this is right next to Monaco and it's famous for casinos and also Formula One. So Grand Prix every year happens here and also this behind me is the famous casino. I don't know if you've seen the movie Monte Carlo, Selena Gomez is in it. So that's kind of my only reference, of course, and Casino Royale. But this place is looking really fancy. You can also see lots of designer showrooms in the back there, like the most expensive brands and people queuing up outside to go shop. So yeah, it's quite a different world out here. with our tour back in our room now it was such a fun tour we covered so many different spots and honestly i wasn't really sure what to expect but i really enjoyed Ez. it was so beautiful and of course monaco as well was just really nice can't believe we ticked off another new country in one day uh, but i feel like doing a tour like this makes more sense for monaco because 
there isn't that much to see and also if you stay there uh, it is way more expensive so it's nice to like just stay in Nice and do a day trip also our guide Michael was so nice he kind of like took a detour and showed me around uh, a few other spots in Nice took me to the port area and Nice and the whole of French Riviera is so beautiful so I'm here in Nice for two more days so you're going to be seeing more of Nice in my next vlog so do subscribe to my channel I hope you enjoyed this video I am so excited to be here and to be traveling again and I will see you all next time in another video Bye!